Hey everyone, welcome to this video guide where I show you how to get Krieg Set. Krieg Set is a set for battle mages that focuses on physical internal trauma damage and aether damage and is pretty good and easy to find. Krieg Set actually drops off of fixed purple named enemy heroes. The first of which we're going to go for is Turnox. Turnox, as you can see on screen, is located in this basement near the Maumoth Outskirts Rift. Turnox will drop you the Krieg's Boots. It's kind of funny to watch the game at 300% speed. Um, and then have the fight slow down just to show the fight. Turnox is fairly easy. The only thing you have to watch out for is a big blue meteor attack right there. That attack deals some hefty damage, but it shouldn't be so much damage that it one-shots you. Otherwise, Turnox is a fairly easy fight. He also drops these offhands. That can be really good for certain character classes. Um, the Turnox, I think they're like Arcane and something else. I don't remember. But yeah, his offhands are pretty nice as well. Now, he can spawn in multiple places in this basement. That's the first spawn. The second spawn is kind of over here in this group. He can be across that little bridge there. And then the third spawn, after we beat this uh, obnoxious titan, the third spawn is up here near this piece of dynamite. It's an easy place to clear out. Turnox is an easy boss. So it should be an easy piece to get. Now the shoulders and gloves drop off of Valatroxia, I believe is how you pronounce her name. She's another purple name spawn. She spawns in the Crown Hill area. So go to the Crown Hill waypoints, pretty much the last waypoint in the game. Make your way through these houses, killing everything in your way. Go down out this door. Um, kill this mob that always spawns right here. Come over here into the street, kill everything in the street. Even if it takes a while. It shouldn't be too bad, but it is Malmoth mobs, so you kinda gotta be on your toes. And she always spawns in that room. So her fight is very similar to Turnox's, but she's more she's more devastation oriented. So what you wanna do is you wanna pull her out of that building, because odds are there's gonna be a mob in that building that will see you, and that just complicates the fight. That meteor right there will stun you and deal heavy damage. That's the only attack you have to watch out for her. Um, in melee, you'll probably have to worry more about her, like, weak devastation, but the main thing to worry about is that big meteor. If you don't have a lot of stun resistance, that thing can stun you for seconds. So I highly suggest if you're going to farm up the set to actually get some good stun res. Um, specifically for her, though, I mean, just having a little bit should be fine, because she doesn't, like, jump you afterwards. And um, otherwise, she's an easy fight. You just got to be aware of that meteor. It's kind of like Alexander. Like, there are three big Aetherials that have meteor attacks like that. Turnox, Valtroxia, and Alexander. So yeah, I'm stopping to fight a hero here, and then we're just moving on. So the third one, uh, this segment, to get there, I'm going to leave it all in. And hopefully I can fill the void with my voice as we speed through here at 300% time. So uh, it's in... The last part is in the... The flash works, last two parts. It is the chest and sh head. Um, and you get that off of Krieg himself. The real Krieg, not Warden Krieg. Flesh Warper Krieg. The Krieg that is the actual ethereal being that we get to go kill. So you can very quickly run through here and avoid fighting pretty much everything. And you want to make your way to the door here. Take the left hand path. And go right into the flesh works. And then you want to go to the left side of the Fleshworks. I'm actually going to die right here. Um, there are five of these Colossus Titan guys, including the Arcane one. So, uh, yeah. I just get jumped and killed. But, um... Hmm. I wonder, I wonder if I'll go and mess him up. Spoiler alert! I go and I mess him up. I basically kill everything except the Arcane guy and leave him for last. Arcane is not that bad to deal with, just as in the side. Um, it's not like Loxmere where you'd get jumped by Loxmere after he nullifies you and just deleted. Um, but yeah, you can either run past or kill the mobs here. I chose to kill them just because I knew if I did die against Kree, I wouldn't want anything waiting outside my portal. So we throw a portal down outside this door. He's sort of a mini boss. Hop in here. There are usually going to be some of these uh, ethereal uh, tentacle thingies. I don't remember the names. Um, 
Good at Grim Dawn guides, huh, guys? And you fight Krieg. Did I say Warper? Flesh... Flesh Weaver? Flesh Weaver Krieg. Again, good at these guides. So yeah, he's sort of a souped up version of all the... the Flesh Warper reanimator guys you fight in the Ethereal Vanguard. And he shouldn't be too difficult. He does have this sort of, like, crystal attack that you saw just a second ago that will actually be kind of difficult to deal with because it's a burst from crystals you can't destroy. Alrighty, you may be asking, what exactly does the Krieg set provide a battle mage? Well, this set is heavily focused on physical, aether, and internal trauma damage. Damage types that, you know, kind of work well with the battle mage combination. So the ability it grants, we'll start with that, is Krieg's Wrath. And Krieg's Wrath, your character shouts, Feel my wrath, like Krieg, and does an AoE Nova attack. It's a fairly large attack. That skill's not ready. And it deals okay damage. There is... Well, that's the dot associated just to my damages. But yeah, it's a it's a burst attack. Goes on cooldown. Um, and deals weapon damage, physical damage, and aether damage. The chess piece provides plus two to reckless power and break morale. The helmet reduces the cooldown of Blitz, provides plus three Blitz, adds Aether damage to Blitz, reduces the cooldown of Warcry, and adds Aether damage to Warcry. So when you use Warcry, you'll actually deal a chunk of Aether damage to your enemies. It's not a lot, though. I mean, it's damage. Warcry's great. You're probably running Warcry regardless as a battle mage. So uh, added damage is just pretty nice. You also, with the helmet, get the Aether Spines ability. So there's a 25% chance when you're hit, you do a tiny bit, in all honesty, of retaliatory damage. That might have to get buffed up a bit, but I mean, it's free damage, so you can't really argue with that. The shoulder guards are pretty standard shoulder guards for a set. You get plus two to mirror and war cry. The gloves have Krieg's Fury, chance on attack. For you to unleash a shockwave of aether energy upon your foes. We just had that happen. So that is that. It's essentially aether smash. And uh, it's pretty common to have a proc. 10% chance. It doesn't sound like a lot, but it actually kind of is. Um, for a glove proc, at least. Then you have 80% physical damage converted to aether on blitz. So blitz, we can see it here. It deals a lot of damage, and it deals a lot of Aether damage per hit. Finally, we got the boots, and they're pretty standard boots. You get plus two to Reckless Power, plus two to Blitz. Um, you additionally, as your set bonuses, basically get a lot of a lot of damage out of this. 120 to the three damage types I mentioned. 6% health, 6% OA. Plus one to all Soldier skills, plus one to all Arcana skills. Some flat damage, and then some skill cooldown reduction. I, right now, I'm running this with a shield. I'm trying to do kind of a cooldown setup. Which is why we're running Star Pact. So we got 36, which is respectable, given that we are using a shield. It is Will of the Living. I don't have a Mythic version yet. We are using Mythical Mind Warp as our weapon. I might switch this guy over to Cadence. I haven't decided yet. I want to get him to level 100 first before I start screwing with his ability points again. Um, other gear to support it. The Escondra's Focusing Prism. I, I just need to get the updated version of that. Or get another amulet that has cooldown on it. Uh, Lightbringer's Imperial Ring of Supremacy is just a ring. It gave plus two to Warcry. Uh, Lifefear Signet for the lifesteal. We have a new component in both of these. The Runebound Topaz. This will help us tank. Um, we are going to go fight Warden Krieg. The actual Warden Krieg. Well, not the actual Warden Krieg. We actually did that to get this set. We're fighting the fake warden, I guess you'd call it, the possessed warden. Anyways, yeah, the runebound topaz is for the percent um, defensive ability and the health. Pretty nice. Mark of Anathema, I do have the mythical version, but it's occupied right now. Tinker's Ingenuity, I don't have the mythical version of this, but I'll probably replace it with a better belt later on, given that Ugdenbog Leather exists now, and that basically fixes bleed and poison. I've also got Juggernaut still. That's pretty old. I mean, a level 35 Relic. Um, I just have it for the OA and the plus one to Soldier. I also like the heal. For our skills, um, here's the layout on the Soldier side. Like I said, it's mostly about cycling cooldown. So we cycle Blitz, Warcry, and then Calidor's Tempest with Wrath of Agravax. 
That's what I get for talking a million miles an hour. Um, if I were to refine this and use Cadence, I'd probably... Well, obviously I'd drop Zohan's technique. I'd probably pull the overcapped points from Blitz and Kalidors and uh, run this. And then I obviously would want Deadly Momentum, but that's in the future. This is just to sear off the set and show how cool it is. So let's go... Let's go fight the Warden. I will be stopping at Heroes. Now we're going to Blitz in here and just annihilate everything with a single Blitz. I thought about doing this as a Blitz Strike character, but... Um, I don't know. I don't like Blitz that much as a main attack, even though we deal an obscene amount of damage with it. Now, the advantage to this type of Battle Mage, because I'm using a shield... Um, we will, in all likelihood, never, ever, 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 ever die. Watch, this is the one time I die in this video. Like, there's a reflective mob or something that kills me. But yeah, um, this is possibly my most tanky character right now. Get out of the way. Um, <laughs> Battle mages are... They are just really tanky as a, a class combination. Yeah, I'm I'm used to there being a door there to cut through that. Got a weird formation this time. So this is the one problem with my current build for this guy is he, he doesn't exactly deal um heavy damage. His OA is low. He's not going to have high OA until oh, I don't know. He gets he gets revered with the coven to get those those awesome new augments. All right, we're at the warden. We're going to we're going to take down Zambrant here though. You can run this build with two Mythical Mind Warps. I know someone in the chat that does it. Um, he loves the build. Build strong. Um, I personally prefer to run a tankier Battle Mage, but that's just me. If I were using this in group play, he would probably be up front with everything and not give a care. So we're gonna we're gonna spend the next 20 minutes fighting Warden Krieg. Really, he's not doing that. Poorly. He's just not optimized yet, but he's still 96 still needs to get his reputation with the coven built up Like I said, and then we'll probably do a little tweaking on the gear like he's still wearing pants from his 85 days He's still Like I said still working on it But as I mentioned we uh, we are incredibly tanky and I mean a dead DPS is zero DPS, right? So So uh, we can just sit here and dish out DPS and not care. The only problem I have with this set is hearing that constantly. I think that was him actually saying Feel My Wrath that time. Whole lot of wrath feeling going on there, but that's the the spines attack. Actually, that's a that's a good way to. Oh, the dot's gone. That's actually kind of a good way to show that off is stand in a dot and let it happen. But anyways, that is the Krieg set. You can get this set fairly easily in Ultimate. Once you get the area, Malmoth, two ninety four. If you have trouble in Malmoth, um, I would suggest just leveling up your character and maybe refining a build a bit because Malmoth could be a little rough in its current state. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time.